So today we're talking about systems of inequalities. Last time we were graphing single inequalities. If you need a refresher on how to do that, go back and watch that video. Um, today we're talking systems, which is two or more inequalities that are related to each other. Uh, consider the system on the, the left here. We have y is bigger than or equal to 2x minus 4, and y is less than x. That looks a little intimidating, but let's think about a similar system that's probably a little bit more familiar. y equals 2x minus 4, and y equals x. What would have been the solution to this particular system? We'd want to find their intersection. What do you think the solution to a system of inequalities is? The solution is going to be an, the overlapping region. I'll show you what I mean. Let's go ahead and just graph each line individually and see where that takes us. Um, one thing I will say about graphing these lines, it will be easier if you have a second color. Um, so grab a colored pencil or another colored pen. It just will make it easier to see what you're doing. So let's go ahead and graph the first line. Y is bigger than 2x minus 4. I'm going to make that look not like a minus sign. So we start here at negative 4. We go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Connect the dots. We have a line that looks something like that. Now we have to figure out which side we shade. So let's go ahead and plug in the point 0, 0. 0 is bigger than or equal to 2 times 0 minus 4, uh, which that's a true statement because 0 is bigger than 0 minus 4, or negative 4. So that's a true statement. We mark it true, and we shade the side with 0, 0 on it. All right, let's go ahead, switch colors, and we're going to do y is less than x. Well, we don't have a slope, and we don't have a y-intercept here, but we know that the, if there isn't one given, the y-intercept is 0, and the slope is 1. So we'll start here, we'll go up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, over 1. There's enough points to graph our line. There we go. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about this line when I just did it is notice, is that going to be a solid line? Nope. That's going to be a dotted line. So let's go ahead and fix that. I just want to point out really quick that we do have an intersection point here of 0. I mean, oops, that's not 0. What am I saying? 4, 4. And that's where those two lines intersect. That isn't the answer to this particular problem, but it is handy to note. Let's try to figure out which way we're going to shade this line that we just drew in in red. We can't plug in the point 0, 0 because it's on the line. So we have to pick another point. Um, I think for this time, I'm just going to pick a point at random. Let's do this point right here which is going to be 2, negative 3. There is no particular reason I picked that point. It just popped out at me. So let's plug it in. Negative 3 is less than 2. Well, that's a true statement. So we have to shade that side with it on it. So let's go ahead and shade that side of the line. Oh boy, now it looks like we've got a mess. What is our answer? The solution is going to be the overlapping region. I'm going to mark it in purple. 
Why? Because blue and red make purple. So our answer here is all of the points within this region between these two lines. Because those points within that region would satisfy both answers. All right. One last thing before we go. I'm just going to slide that up here. A solution point is any point within our shaded region that would satisfy both equations. Kind of had to cheat there at the end, but that last word is inequalities. Um, you can. There's a lot of different points that you can pick. The one that's jumping out at me right now is this one here in the purple. Right here, that point is zero, negative two. But we could have picked others. There's lots of different points that we could pick. Let's just double check and make sure that that actually is a solution point. Let's plug it into both equations. I think I'll do so in yellow. We haven't used yellow yet. So we get negative 2 is bigger than or equal to 2 times negative 2 minus 4, which is negative 2 is bigger than or equal to negative 8, which is true. And negative 2 is less than 0, which is also true. So in this case, our solution point is negative 2, I mean 0, negative 2. Are there other solution points that are true? Yes. But that is just one that I want you to point out. And, make sure, and, and just say that you can see at least one point in there that satisfies both equations. Do you necessarily need to show me that it satisfies both equations uh, algebraically? No. Just make sure you pull one out there. I did that for demonstration. Uh, feel free to email me back with any questions. Let me know what you think.